All right, so we're in the C pillar or the quarter panel area. What we have to do is that we have to remove this um, plastic piece off first. Let's see if I can remove it easily. All right, that looks like it popped out easy. All right. Looks like it moved. And now we just have to pop out the C pillar out of the way. And I don't think I have to do much more than that. Let me get this rubber piece out. I don't think I have to do much more than that. Headliner comes out. All right, and we're just gonna remove it out of its track here. There we go. And as we see, headliner is coming off. Mission accomplished. Let's get it out of the car and I'll see you back at the table. All right, so we're back at the table and we have the headliner out of the car. It was a little bit of a hassle to take this headliner out of the car. I had to do it from the uh, rear driver's side door. Um, it was the only door that opens up completely fully and I had to angle this a certain way. Um, it didn't go without saying or without an error. Um, it did kind of break on both sides because it's very fragile where the uh, moon roof is or sunroof is. So that bend will cause it to possibly break if you try to do it. I'm going to try to repair that to see how best I could repair it so that way it doesn't sag uh, in a V shape when I install it back. The good thing about it is that um, it's being held by the moon roof in a um, uh, by clips or like not clips but more like a rubber piece and it also has velcro all around the moon roof which holds it in place so hopefully it doesn't sag when I repair those two cracks on each side um, that happened during the bend uh, process of trying to remove it out of the car you have to bend the fiberglass or cardboard slightly a little bit and that's where it cracked all good all set all, all, I knew something like this was going to happen. This is not going to come out of the car without it breaking or without something going wrong or without clips breaking. That's fine. That's the whole process of trying to modify your car. Things are going to break and you're just going to have to repair it or live with it. Um, these cars are old. This is over a decade old and um, clips are brittle. Stuff are, are, are not um, as they were when you took it out of the dealership. Back to the headliner. So what we're gonna do is now flip this headliner around and we are going to remove the old cloth. There we go. We're gonna remove this old cloth from this um, headliner and install the new one. I'm gonna put you in a better angle so you can see all the process of removing this cloth and what's under it and how we're gonna uh, get, that, get rid of that. I had to put on a glove because I don't want my injury to dirty the new cloth or anything else here. I'm going to put also another glove so that way I don't dirty it with my hands either. I'm going to angle you in a better position and then we'll uh, remove this cloth. All right. Hope this is a better angle. What we have to do is that we have to remove the cloth from this panel. The areas that are that I see that are the worst are the areas where the... Um, B pillars are like you can see I'm lifting it up here and that's where it's like mostly the adhesive under it is gone and also here in the area of the um, visors. So we just got to remove this cloth because the foam that's under this no longer has a good adhesion. The adhesive is pretty much gone and um, we have to also remove that foam. So let's start removing this cloth out of the way.
All right. So what we have to do now is that we have to remove this uh, foam. It's very sticky off of this cardboard because the headliner that Moon uh, Moonlighting Auto Tops provided for us already has foam on the bottom. So the way to remove this out of the way is let's try some cloth or a brush of some sort. So I'm going to try that right now. All right, so I was able to take off as much of the foam and adhesive that it had on there. And I vacuumed it, I removed it with extra cloth. I did as much as I can. It's very tacky, very sticky. I had to wash my hands and a lot of it still didn't come off my hands. So I'm wearing clean gloves, so that way I don't dirty this new cloth. We're gonna open this bad boy up and install it with this 3M headliner adhesive. I had this in a very uh, mid to hot temperatures. It says to keep it between 65 and 95 degrees. I kept it in the high 80s, mid 80s. Um, so that way it adheres better and I shook it for a very long time. So that's ready to go and ready to use. I'm gonna open this bad boy up and place it on the headliner here as, as best as I can. And then we're gonna use the 3M uh, a headliner adhesive to uh, stick it down. So let me open this guy up here. I'm going to use this um, position there. I also placed the cloth on the bottom because that table got a bit dirty and I didn't want to place this cloth on top of that dirty table. I'm going to go over it. Oh, touch it. Try to see if I could go from this end. Okay.
So we want to align this as best as possible so we get even cloth all over. See that it's more on this side. And if we have to cut, we have to cut. So, all right. So what I did was that I aligned the cloth. Um, sorry that I zoomed in. I had to zoom it back out. We basically going to go half ways here. We're going to put it on, uh, we're going to put the adhesive on the cloth and on the headliner. And then uh, we're going to fold it over and do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to test out this uh, headliner adhesive on this cardboard here. That's a fail there. Okay, test it out here first. Okay, I can see what kind of pattern this, this throws. That's good. So let's start doing it here. Ooh, I mean, I get it on the car here, so I'm going to spray it straight down. Hour later. So we're back. Sorry I didn't bring you to the interior of the car. Like I said in the previous shot, I'm running a little behind and I have to get things done quickly. I have to head back home because tomorrow I have to go to work early and the trip is pretty far from my parents' house. I'm going to give you a guide through on what I did. Basically, I entered the headliner from the driver's side rear door 
Try not to bend it so much. Do it as quickly as possible so the work that we did earlier doesn't get damaged or wrinkle. Once I had it in there, the hardest part was to align the headliner with the roof of the car, get everything back into its place. That took me about almost an hour playing around with it. And it was the hardest part, I gotta say. This whole repair out of five, I'm gonna rate it a 4.5, 4.8. It was difficult for me because it's my first time doing it and I don't really mess with upholstery. Now, if you look at the inside of the car, you're gonna look at it, everything is complete, everything is put back together. You're gonna probably look at it and say, hey, this is dope, it's not sagging anymore. I noticed the imperfections, I noticed where I messed up, and hey, I'm gonna leave it like that because it looks great. I honestly did a great job for my first time, and if it continues to bother me, I'll just take it to somebody that does professional work and let them do it. Now, the tools that I used for this kind of work was my 3M headliner adhesive. I use X-Acto knives, I use trim removal tools, Phillips head, flat head, impact gun, scissors, and my uh, headlamp. Now, what I do have to thank is Moonlight Auto Tops. Oh, I'm sorry, Moonlighting Auto Top. Is that correct? Yep. Moonlightingautotops.com because they provided the perfect matching headliner for the interior of this car. They gave me enough cloth to fill in the whole headliner and I wasn't complaining about any of that. Their shipping was good, their customer service is good, and their free samples were awesome. No cost to me. Now, to continue with the, with the channel, what I do want you to do is follow my IG page at dro underscore ASAP underscore garage to see the next sneak peek of the next episode. We are almost done with the interior. I promise we probably have one or two more episodes with the interior, hopefully just one. And the next part will be a performance part as a hint. You can also check that in my IG page coming soon or already there. Comment down below if there's anything that you would like to see me do or if there's anything that I'm doing wrong. I'm good with feedback. It's all to entertain you. And I promise that if you comment down below, like, subscribe, click on the notifications, the videos will start getting better and better as we get along with this journey. I will see you next time. This was your boy Dro, and this was ASAP Garage. Peace.